Welcome back to the morning show. It is the third and final hour of our time together. It's been a great first two hours of the show, but we're still with you for another half an hour. It is the first of December, and right now we're moving into some home news, talking about one of ETV's newest and most daring offerings, the Black Door. <laughs> and it is a deep and dark daily drama about sex workers who are ordinary citizens trying to make a living to support their families. And the Black Door aims to tell authentic yet shocking South African stories. And one of those stories is the storyline of our next two guests. Today we're joined by members of its amazing cast, Nongkulule Gombata, who plays Utenji, as well as Kwanda Manyati, who plays her good boy, gone bad, son, <laughs> Villa. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Good morning. Uh, we're good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. It's so good to have you guys here. Let's start with the complexity of the relationship that you have. Because if you're talking about a relationship of a mother and son, mm. it's, it's, it's one you don't break very easily. Yeah, it's, it's but this part. one is complex. Let me start with you, Nongkuli Lego. Why is it so complex? Firstly, I want to say thank you for having us. Um, it's complex because all Tenji we had with Elapi when um, she was very young at a very old age, as much as you can tell that there's like not much of an age difference between them both because mm. she was raped when she was younger by Uprake Nyambo. So when she had Uwe Lapi, she raised him till this point and now things are turning around because he's a teenager now and she's a single mother and it's a lot. It's mm. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it is a lot. It yes. is a lot. And this is where you come in yes. as Uwe Lapi. <laughs> yeah. 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 You yeah. find yeah. out yeah. your father raped your mom and mm. now mm. it's vengeance. It's a very heavy story to have yeah. to play out you know um and i think as a viewer it's a lot to try process um especially in the time that we're in currently we're celebrating 16 days of activism mm -hmm. against abuse w with women and children but also at the same time we, we're living in a time where there's a high um, uh, rate of abuse and rape how is it for you as an actor to prepare for such a heavy storyline you, 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 you know uh, it's been a, such a huge storyline and a very difficult one because uh in the current situation of Uvela P, ah, more prepared, and was making a cool with the Uifa Casuini, Zentra Razen, the Guena before, and the Gutim was the Uben Research, and more was what we portray as the character. And mm. if, 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 you, if you have noticed it from Uxhol, it was the Gazigazi, we protect the rape, that's where the problem starts. Why she juggle and die on a jail mind? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's where the problem starts. And I mean, even for you uh, as as Uma Gwafelap, it's yes. also a lot to carry that storyline. Yes. To to have to carry. Did you, let me maybe put it this way: Did you feel the weight of having to play the role of someone who is a rape victim? Most definitely. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I mean, because as much as it's sad to actually admit this, but rape is a norm in our country. Mm. It's sad to admit that, but it is like being people being raped. It's statistics. They there. You know what I mean? So automatically. Basically, when I got the story arc, I knew that oh, see, I'm going to be touching based on into that is happening out there right now as we're mm. speaking. So for me, storyline Satenji was a bit heavy because there's a son involved, you know. Some people get raped and then they don't have kids after that. This lady had a kid after that and it was a product of a rape. And how do you love a human that was conceived through something that was so hurtful to you? Mm. And the thing with my character that differentiates both of us is that Utenjiwe loves acting like nothing happened. Yeah. So even when she was raped and got the kid, she literally acted like nothing happened up until the child got up. Wambuzu, who's my father, only to find out that the guy's gonna die soon after that when she actually sure. opened up about what happened. So she she's a person who like closes up a lot mm. and that's why she's always seemed like a, she seems like a very angry person. But when you touch base and go back, you see what's no man. Yeah. Every person who's a bad person is because they've gone through something. What's enjoy guys in Kanim Tan days? She's been through a lot. She's been through a lot. She's been through a lot. Now, as O as O Vela, you know, if I come to you, Kwanda, there mm. is we see how the, the, the switch happens, Go Vela where he gets this motivation to to show vengeance. Mm -hmm. uh, we see the switch where it happens. He's a good boy his whole life, <laughs> and know. suddenly, yeah, 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 he's into the change, you know? We see him become this bad boy. Wh what do you think is the motivation behind this this, this switch between uh, um, the good boy of LRP up until he's a good boy gone bad? Um, the motive behind is stress. Because mm. <laughs> ever since the stress, um, Nothing is clear as we come up, 
And that's where Sengishangana no land. Then the outside no, she had to pull nyan. So ya kala la pofu sin kasa zuzu. Uvela pa uye na manjo ngasa shoni pi. Genga upe ma yonke lenta inza. You know what's actually interesting about both the storylines? If I think about Uvela pi with what Kwanda is saying right now, it's it's a reality that we're seeing in schools. Young people find themselves in these situations. And you were talking about even the 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 abuse and the rape culture in South Africa and how the character of Utenji is speaking specifically towards that. I want to in close. Or and wrap up of our conversation. Uh, do you think our audiences are ready to have the conversations that a show like this is pushing them to have? Uh, because we find how art becomes that conversation starter. Mm. But do you think we're ready as a South African audience to have those conversations? I'm going to be honest with you, Putramine. Mm. I feel like we are ready to watch such content. It's a good thing that it's created. It's literally there. It's raw and everything is out there. You know what I mean? Mm. But I don't feel like we are ready to speak about it because there are so many things that especially in our culture that I feel we love to sweep under the rug, mm. which I wish we would see after watching The Black Door and focusing on our storylines, that people stop doing that, especially if rape happens from people that you know you trust the most. Like Oprah Gibson was very helpful in our family. Yeah. No one would have ever expected him to do such a thing. And Naru Tenji, where she felt like not speaking because she thought so I'd rather not say anything because this guy is actually helping our family, you know what mm. I mean? So, Mina, the only thing I would say is that any person who watches the show and any person who relates to any storyline, I, I just hope that it's, it's, it's working towards us being ready to have the conversation because yeah. to be honest i don't think we are Ish. with I the really, statistics yeah. every day i doubt we are ready to have the conversation you know, guys we need to change mm. our ways you mm. know what i mean mm. Long -le -go -kwanda, thank you so much for joining us on the morning show this show. morning we oh man <laughs> i'm excited to see how the storyline of the black door is constantly evolving to create conversation and bringing us into the light of realities that many people place um experience rather and that was ngolulego mbata as well as kwanda manyati chatting to us about the new etv drama the Black Door, a series which portrays a truly beautiful uh, story telling an unapologetic, unapologetic rather, realness. The drama that is set in the high stakes world of a pleasure dome brothel is weekdays at 9.30 p.m. right here on ETV and you want to make sure that you do catch it. Stay with us, there's still so much more coming up before we wrap up our time together.